All right. Drawing. Isn't it fun? Hi, Biz Mark. How's it going? Welcome to my little humble streams. Where I stream only the best thing that people are asking me to, to stream. Can I zoom in on that character? No. Okay. Well. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Like, it feels like it's been a while since last time I streamed. It feels like it. I don't know if it's true or not. But it says like the last uh, follower I had was six days ago. But I don't know if it's because I streamed six days ago. I'm just gonna lower the opacity of those. <clears throat> So the idea I had for this guy is either looking that direction or either looking straight at us as he play games. You're making an attempt to draw? Ah, cool. I hope I can be an inspiration of some sort. Because basically what's the guy want? He wants the character to be sitting cross arm, like cross leg like this and gaming on this kind of pad but I don't know which side is the right side so I suppose the joystick should be here and the button should be here Dark Espion, hello! You know what? Do it this way. It's gonna be a bit challenging, but you know what? I'm out for a challenge today. And also just eating watermelon and drinking tea. You know what to say? I'll be silently watching. It's fine with me. It's like I'm here, and if you want to watch, it's fine. If you don't want to, it's fine too, I Gaming at its best. He has a bit of fluff. The music too loud, by the way. I haven't like checked out my settings properly. Lights is okay. I'm all lost. I don't know why I'm so lost today. To be honest, the weather today is shitty. It's like, but you can kind of see with uh, the tanuki head, the lighting. It's kind of like just, yeah. It's cloudy and it's snowing. In April. Yes, you hear me snowing in April. That's what it looks like living in Canada. Night, hello. Welcome to the stream. Sup? Ah, you know. Drawing and heating pussy as always. What? I mean... Uh... Nothing. I have nothing new. a busy weekend 
so busy in fight that yesterday I was too tired to actually do a morning stream like I usually do on Monday. You know, I must admit what's cool with the Monday streams is that I do it because I feel like there's not enough stream on the Monday morning. And also, like, so by my surprise, I get like 10 viewers. So I'm like, oh, cool, okay. Well, I guess people want to see stuff happening on Monday. I like what before, like, I'm on my break. I, I just came in for clients. I'm like, sweet. What I'm drawing today? Uh, a wolf playing on the on this. I don't really know what to call it again. X pad. I like it. I, I don't think it's called like that. It's a fight stick. Fight stick. Okay. Yes, I remember the client said that. It was a fight stick. Yeah, I don't know how big they are it compares to a person. They just give me pictures of it, they don't really giving me like... You know those mornings you look outside and everything is different? Nothing is like it was? Well, it's just pictures of it. It's nothing. Okay, well, you know what? I do. I'll go with my guess that it needs to be big enough for him to just... It's hard to believe that it's been a year since I last saw you. We missed so much trying so hard to hold on to the things that we once had. But you know... Not even the stars stay in sight forever. Have you ever had like, I don't know for your experience, but mine. People are telling me like, oh, you can draw this pose, it's easy, right? I'm like, oh yeah, it's so easy. <laughs> So like, I'm sorry, you're the one drawing. <laughs> you know how much I like to be fake sassy with people. Let's drink some tea, shall we? Oh, it's boiling hot. I won't. Okay. I'm gonna eat some watermelon. Eating fruit is good for you. Hello, Idra. How's it going? Are you on break from your school stuff? Can't stay at home in class right now. Exactly what I was gonna say. It's fine. It's not really crisscross. There should be a leg going inside. Who followed? Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I hope you'll enjoy the stream. Uh, save. I'll save. There you go. I saved. This is quite a complicated pose on this I always wanted to draw, but half the time I try, it comes out looking like trash. Well, this is why practice exists. You think like I started drawing and it was looking like a masterpiece? Of course not. And that's the thing that people keep asking me, how do you draw? How does it make it look so good? Like, it's so much time involved into it. If you don't take the time to just practice and just try new stuff, you'll never get somewhere. Not only art-wise, but like this is why school exists too. So like you can practice some aspect and get a better job at something. I'll do it another color. I'll confuse myself.
All I can really say is like no effort equals no results. So yeah, let's keep on trying. Until you reach one comfortable level. Pause it is. I'm actually glad that I practice uh, sitting down way more with, with Tortera Mitch since it's so big I'm always drawing in sitting like sometimes you don't really think about it you're like man I want to draw a character that does this and then you're like, geez, it's complicated. Kind of like uh, My Hero Academia. There's a villain character that has a, a lot of N. And his comments on the side of the comics. Uh, the, the manga, it's always saying that he has difficulty drawing ends still and he created a villain that is just a nightmare to draw but the results are there, right? Must admit, sometimes it takes me a couple tries. Like I have a character in mind, doesn't really look great on the first few sketches. But you're like, what can I do to make it look better? And then stop, ask for people's opinion about it, and say, oh, maybe if you do this, and I'm like, yeah, maybe. That's cool. Getting critics from people is not a bad thing. Who's, who's texting? Stop texting me now. That's my boyfriend. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Sage Wolverine Gaming. This isn't even started the inking phase yet. It looks better than most than ever attempt all. Well, I draw every day and I'm 27. So I have like 27 years of experience, I suppose. But I really started to get more serious on drawing, like when I was 
Jeez, such negativity. Come on, guys. Don't compare yourself to other artists. I struggle for inspiration to draw. That's a little something you have to do every day, really. Uh, the reason why I can draw, like, basically starting from scratch, is scratch. And go for it. It's because I, I practiced every day to draw a little something. Little doodle. Like, it's just. You keep on going and you, you just draw a little something every day. Even though if it doesn't look like nothing. That they, the, tomorrow you'll do another doodle and you're like, oh, you know what, it's better than yesterday. Or maybe it will look look good. But like, the goal is to just do a little something every day to keep the creative flowing. If I was to give some advice from beginner artist to another, is that make a thousand bad drawings to make a good one. That is actually kind of true. Like, I hate when people think like my job is easy. <laughs> it's easy now because I know what I'm doing, but when I was started to take commission like a couple years back, I was so lost and confused. And people were asking me pause that I, I didn't know how to start with. But that was a bit of a problem. I was just there and I was like, uh, I guess this looked good. And then talked to the client and was like, can you change this? You know. Like the only difference between me and the beginner artist is that I've been doing it for way longer than they are doing. That's the only difference. If I can be an inspiration for somebody though, that is fun. You know, like, I did charge like 60 bucks for that and I realized how easy it looks like now. So I'm gonna have some background a bit. Eventually you'll get there, everybody can do it. I mean, I didn't have any teacher or anything, I just started doodling and using tutorial from books and everything. And really that's how I started. Just having fun, I was drawing stickmen for like most of my days when I was like in a... That was it like junior schools it was just like doing comics with stick nets on it yeah your own creator can listen to that voice in your head telling you your drawings are bad it will only make it worse that's something i still have today but i got so much support now that i feel when i my brain's telling me this i'm letting people down again like i don't like when people are telling them to themselves we all had that voice, you know. The best you can do is say, fuck that voice. I still want to be better. Like, prove that voice wrong. Like, fuck that voice. And, like I tell people, like, I mean, my art must be good if people are buying it, right? <laughs> Not saying that your art is bad or anything, it's just for me the reason why I don't say those things anymore is simply because I've been doing commission for three years now. It's awesome the support I'm getting from people.
It does get me from time to time. I'm not. I'm not. Me too. And then, like, it's really subtle. Like, it's pretty hard to just get rid of the date tomorrow. Uh, I'll take his reference right here instead. There we go. I suppose it's a t-shirt that goes like here. Like if you're looking like I don't do cuts when I draw and I post video online. So like if you're really interested to see how I'm drawing, you maybe get inspired and be like, oh this is how you do it. Kind of deal. You can always check my YouTube channel where I post a lot of drawings content. And some Let's Play, but I'm really tired of doing Let's Plays. What I'm posting as Let's Plays now are stuff that I had done like last year, this summer, last summer. Simply because I was sick and I was like, fuck it. That was fun, but... Even like, posting them, I'm like, ugh. But it's fine. The more we'll go, the more like I'll be more like concentrating on drawing, and I'm working on my affiliate. Is it how you call it, affiliate or subscription, whatever? Soon people will be able to subscribe to my channel. I feel like it's better than a Patreon because I'm giving something and I'm working. Patreon is mostly just yeah, there you go. Like I'll post my stuff there if you want to support, but I don't like Patreon. Too many times I get like people pledging, take my content and then leave, and I really hated it, so I deleted it. Like, I don't really have time to waste on that. But I feel like streaming is really something I enjoy. Uh, the more subscriber, the more I can allow myself to just draw more comics for the people to see. More comics, or more personal word, or like... I'll make a pull for subscriber, giving them a choice. Hey, what do you want me to draw this uh, this month? You know, like kinda... Like you want me to be more like this character or this character, you know? We'll see how it goes. Because if I start to get subscriber, I will get like, I will try to stream two times a week. Either following a schedule or either not. <laughs> I look around because I also have like friends that stream. And I don't want to be streaming at the same time they are streaming. But kind of maybe a bit before. So when I'm done streaming, it's going to be starting and I can just like create a stream. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's get some tea. Mm. Tea. I went with the black tea today. You know, I've learned something that there's only three ty three types of teas. We got the white tea, the green tea, and the black tea. Everything else are tisane. Like a oolong or like a pruile or whatsoever, they are all like tisane, they are not even teas. Crazy. Carter. I'm pretty sure you were doing that and as a kid too, you know, just sit on the floor as you game. While your parents are just sitting there be like, yeah, that's my son.
God knows I did. It's 64 era, man. What a great time to be alive. I gave it a bit of a background, nothing much. It was actually easier than I was expecting. So, alright. When I say easier than expecting, I mean easier for me. I'm gonna do a quick save. There we go. Who's next then? Jeez. Okay, perfect. Just people being like, ah, oh, cool. trying to like name my layers a bit more now mostly because I'm sewing all my setting so I kind of want to just like be a bit more organized in case some people are using like this stream as a this stream and the videos as like a tutorial or something you're welcome to That can be an inspiration for somebody and just, just go wild. Really, uh, it's looking really good. Thank you. I hope so. It's a commission. <laughs> really like sticking your tongue out. That means well. I mean, intense gaming means intense expressions. Well, it depends. Like I've seen like competition gaming and it's just so boring to watch I'm sorry if you're into that it's just the people are just not there to have fun it's just like okay let's see like I don't like gaming online exactly for that it's like just there for the winning and nothing else it's just eh. I'm trying to fight other people or just trying to be cheap to just win at one point it's really depressing 
because they're like, I just want to play. And it's like, no, fuck playing online. I really hate it. I thought I was some cute and mundane artist. Thank you. I'm trying my best. You know, I'm mostly, I consider myself more of a cartoonist, comic artist, than anything else. So, like, I really like uh, working out the emotions. And faces are really important. But also, the whole body also shows emotion. This is why I decided to make it more like hunch down. Have you ever been like to a sushi place with some friends and you're done eating, but they are not. You're coming with us. So you're just there waiting for them to finish eating. But they keep on ordering new stuff. And it's like, oh, I ordered too much. Would you help me finish? And you're like, no, fuck you. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Because you know you pay if like you don't finish it and it's like oh well I ordered too much it's like I'm not helping you fuck you I'm getting a separate bill but there are certain people I don't even go anymore because they're like taking the paper and they are just like yeah I want that and that and that and that and that and they will just eat that and there's like the table is still full with food and you're like well I ordered my shit fucking hate that <laughs> you do that way too often when you heat out order too much or just like I don't know, I went to a sushi place the other day and this is exactly... I don't really like going to sushi place with my friend even though I love my friends. It's simply because like some of them are just like, well, I'm ready for dessert. And they're like, what? Dessert already? We barely started. I'm like, what? It's been two times now. Because I don't eat as much either. So. I was just about to say sushi on my dumb calls. <laughs> they are expensive, like I don't realize it. And since I don't eat that much, like, compared to my friends, it's just like... It doesn't feel worth it to pay that, that expensive fry, price to actually eat. Almost nothing, you know? <laughs> It's basically the end of that transit. I don't know why I started talking about it. <laughs> I don't like how you can eat places anymore. It's just not worth it. Twelve bucks. Yeah, but you're talking US dollars, right? Because 12 bucks in Canada, it's kind of cheap. I wouldn't go to a sushi place that sells sushi for 13 bucks, that's for sure. There's a, the things about like seafood, it's like it really need to be in a clean place. Because if not, then you're gonna get sick. <laughs> 
so many texts today. Why am I popular? Stop being popular. Who that? Pants. <sighs> I really enjoy drawing. Doesn't matter like how many drawings I do a day. It's like, ah, oh, fuck yeah, I could draw today. <laughs> I always say thank you for the people who support me. That's for sure. Can we talk a bit about Dog Bomb? I know it's like a kind of a touchy subject. But yesterday, like, I told Mr. Bear about this story. And it takes a lot of courage to just say, uh, to just do what he just did. And I decided to donate some money to the ASL Foundation. I know like 10 bucks doesn't seem much, but a little change is better than no change. That's a very sad story, but also like, gosh, he was so positive. Music is done. All right. What do I feel like listening now? I've been really into like metal stuff lately. I don't think it will fit this stream really. <laughs> well, I look back to what have you heard lately? It's all like emo or hardcore stuff. Let's do it. Let's just chill and put some QB. There we go. It's rainy outside while well, I mean snowy. 
It's no raining. It's uh, it's not like good weather. That's for sure. I need to be careful too. Like the stream might like pop in any time because I know it's so windy. Mr. Bear told me that as he was walking back home yesterday, uh, alleged saw like branches falling out of trees, hitting like. Uh, the electrical wires I hope it won't happen because that would sucks when I'm pressing control s like every two lines I'm doing so it's not that terrible but it happened to me one time it was just like saving and saving and saving uh, lost electricity, opened back my computer with electricity, went back, and the file was corrupted. That is always fun. <laughs> Only heard about Dog Bond not too long ago, but it was really sad to see such positivity member of the fandom go. I agree with you. I totally agree 100%. That's why I'm trying like my best to be positive. Because, I'm not gonna lie, like when people are coming to my stream and telling me that their drawings are bad, it, it gets you still, like... But I just try to just like, twist around and be like, don't worry about it, kind of deal. It works for some, it doesn't work for some. There's no secret miracle. Just need on practicing, man. If I can do it, I think everybody can. Like I recently heard about Dog Bomb 2 uh, from my friend KK. He got me into like seeing what this dude was about. I've seen a bit of his story. I don't know everything about him. But I did like wanted to support uh, the ASL Research Center. see what we can do about it <sighs> I get me a bit emotional I'll drink some tea somebody saved the clip Okay. If you want, there's a link directly from uh, the Dogmon Twitter. Or if not, you can go to my Twitter. And it should be one of the first tweets that you will see. There's a link there. It's not complicated. It's asla.org and you can donate for the foundation sorry just taking a small break stretching is important you don't want to hurt your wrist as you're drawing stretch a bit drink some water have some tea eat some watermelon i'm gonna pee like cray cray Do 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 do
I've done it myself too many times before. It's very sad to hear about Dogmom. Been following his story online for a while. Yeah, it is very sad. The kind of uh, Twitter page that I can't follow simply because you will get me, you know. Since you gave me what the fuck just give it to me jesus fucking christ okay, that's all that's a button okay well like eight button and a little nub job stick here Chill streams. That's the thing with art. It's pretty hard to just like make a stream super like hype and interesting because it's a lot of just me being like, hmm, maybe this line would look better. Nope. How about this? Nope. How about this one? Nope. <laughs> you know? I wonder what kind of energy I will get when... But I guess it won't change much. Like, the only thing that will be different in my stream in a few days slash week slash month, I don't know, is when I will get subscriber, I will get a bit more notification and I will be able to accept bits. So I don't know what's gonna happen. 
But you know what? Support is support. Just the fact that you're here watching me is actually support. Even if you're on YouTube right now, it's, it's great. I read online. I just decided to stream because why not? This is the gaming pad, alright. And I bought like a 3D print shirt again yesterday. I really like those. Simply because you can put such like crazy things on it. I don't know if you guys know the band called Rings of Saturn. But I'm back into like listening to this band lately. <laughs> and I bought like a 3D print shirt. That is like a cover of the latest album. And it's crazy. Oh, believe me, it's like super beautiful, but it's like extremely detailed. Like it's mostly purple and green. Which is like crazy awesome. I can't wait to receive it. It was super expensive though. <laughs> Like, I almost paid $100 shipping included to get that shirt, so I don't know. It will probably become, like, become my favorite 3D print shirt. I still like, I'm looking for like the Van Gogh the picture, you know the one with like the spirals in the sky. I saw that one once, but when I look back into uh, Amazon or whatsoever, I just don't do it anymore and I feel like I missed out on that one. I'm glad I just have a galaxy. 3D print shirt, it's fucking nice. Do -do -do -do. I like purple, I just never know when to wear it. And I feel like with hoodies at least, you just get it.
But I'm back into Minecraft lately. Yesterday I decided to just like get back in creative and start making a house. I don't really have like a proper setting for me to game my computer. Even drawing I don't really... RPG! RPG you donated 20 bucks! Why you did... Uh, why you did this? I don't want your crack house money. No, just kidding. Thank you for the support, RPG. I'm glad you like your icons, I did. I would use your donation. Bank it up. And do some art on stream for the people, entertainment. Oh, look at that cutie! <laughs> It actually look quite good. Oh, I'm super happy about it. Oh my god. And see guys, if you want some like... Icons that I did, go follow, like, give a subscribe to RPG. Look at that cutie face. Oh, it's adorable. It's actually look better than I was expecting. Because when I did the render and just like check it out if it was okay or not, they were like... It wasn't looking as great, but now that I see it on the chat of stream, I feel like they look very good. I know we're missing the tail, let's just hide the background. I have to hide the sketch. Okay, I know I'm missing the tail, I just want to just combine the sketches. The inking, I mean. Well, I'm glad I did them in the end. Sorry it took me so long to just like find my head, like just be like, okay, well, I think it's time to do it kind of deal. Because I'm always like more thinking about myself when like I have no time. Oh, wait, he has a little something on his tail. Yeah, he has like a little bow. Game is be a competitive player. <laughs> I don't know. Are you excited, RPG? Joker is coming eventually. <laughs> I will offer you some watermelon. But you're on stream. I'm actually quite excited too. Uh. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it as much, but it's always excited to get a new character in Smash. My friends are like wondering why am I not playing Smash on stream and I'm like... I, I don't want to <laughs> but I do want to stream with RPG once uh, Joker is out to try out a character and I think uh, 
Um, Idra wants to s play Smash with me and Beric in one of his stream one time. So we'll see how it goes. I wouldn't be against like playing uh, four players. <laughs> Just imagine me, RPG, Idra, and Beric. Smash it up together. I gotta play with Beric sometime. Yeah. I never played with Beric yet. So I don't know like his gameplay style. Smash is really the kind of game that brings people around so much. It doesn't look like it, but it's really like, oh my god, Smash! The day it came out, man. That made so many people happy. You, you can't imagine that, like how much like... I was so happy to see that the... Everybody was expecting like a port from Smash 4 and they were like, NO! We must make the ultimate game, and he did. That's so awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Like, and my hope wasn't that high. I was like, they're gonna do a port of the fourth one and just had the inkling in it and be like, that's it. Well, you know what? I wasn't like totally wrong because I knew like uh, the inkling was going to be implemented in Smash since Mario Kart, since they included it in Mario Kart. I was querying when my BF Incineroar was announced. <laughs> Incineroar baby. He is cute. I like the mine. I like the one I drew a lot, the character. Let's see, if I have time, I might actually have time to draw him. I don't know my harm. Yeah, to get back into the Minecraft stories, like my my arms, my hand hurts a bit simply because I don't really have a gaming uh, like setup properly. So I'm having like holding my mouse in a weird way and using like the keypad in a weird way. Oh, he has this car here. I didn't see. The ref is so small. So I hurt my wrist yesterday by playing Minecraft like an idiot. And I knew it was going to happen. It's not the first time that happened to me. The thing is, I freaking love Minecraft. It will never get Oops. lost in Seeking the truth in art. To be honest, I'd scream louder if they announce a second Pokemon train. Imagine Draco come to skin and swamp her. You know what? I would have loved to see that as an eco fighter. Because they did nothing really for Gen 3 except for a, a couple of Pokemon that you call. Nah, that, that a bit disappointed. Well, there's still character to be announced, but I doubt, I doubt it's gonna be that. And this guy just like grays. It's kind of. I don't want to say it's boring, but like gray here, gray here, gray here, gray here, gray here, gray here, and a darker gray here. <laughs> Gray, gray, gray. You see purpose in me truly. I will not get lost again. Oh, is this in color? Really? Okay, well, there you go. Again. And yes, a spawn is right here.
I'd be totally in for that. You know, some articles uh, confirmed that the CGI was well, actually supposed to be uh, the fighter instead of uh, Incineroar. But the, in the end, Incineroar with more, uh, more sense since he's like more of a fighter. He likes to brawl. The CGI is more of a ranger, you know, so it will be another range character, I suppose. I imagine like his moveset to be similar to Link, like a mix of Link and Greninja. <laughs> he has a bow tie, and the bow tie is kind of reddish pink. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Would like to see Dante from Devil May Cry? You wouldn't? <laughs> yeah, there you go, another like smash talk on my stream. Well, I started it, so like it's all my problem. <laughs> Think sorry, highest his eyes are right. I want to see Kratos from God of War. They put Dante would be another overpowered unstoppable killer. Will be kind of like a uh, cloud. Yeah, we have Bayonetta, so I suppose it counts. We don't really need a Devil May Cry character. We like it big in here. We like it junky. Alright. Again, it's a lot of gray <laughs> character. I didn't realize before I started coloring that. I always say it's lame. But it, it, there's not enough like color variation, in my opinion. You know, you just need just a bit more. Well, the red does a bit a nice touch, but like I mean, call it like if you have gray fur and then you gotta wear gray clothes, it just look bland. But again, it's my opinion and take on it. This client is actually a very swell guy. He looks cute though. Nah, I can't argue with that. You know what? I didn't talk about it. Now it's getting a tell about it. He is a cute McGee. I guess his eyes are green because I don't see anything green. <laughs> Dark green, everybody. Dark green. It's like, okay, let's do. Let's go and find a color here. 
I suppose it's gray. <laughs> You know what, I must admit, I'd rather draw this character than drawing uh, uh, the character he sent me, that it's like uh, a character from a game. I mean, it's basically a man with a wolf mask and he wanted to be a wolf. I'm not against it. What I was against is a screenshot from the game, which was so pixelated and small, I couldn't make up with all the details and I couldn't like... I was afraid to not deliver the picture correctly. I was just like, is that okay? Or and then I talked with the guy that was like, look, I did my best. Like it was actually more impressed than I was thinking it would be. So you know what? I think I did something great. But you know what? Once I had this picture done of this, this character they wanted me to draw, the commission after was easier because like he used my picture as a reference. <laughs> Do you actually do anything Simigas when in Smash? You know what? I'll be into it too. Megas when per. I'm pretty sure they will put like Blazer Can instead, and I'll be like, fuck! <laughs> we have to have like Swamper Sam into Smash. Do you think they will add more, like, more, uh, more character after this season pass? Do you think they will come out with another season pass after, or you think that'll be it? Like that will be like a Nintendo Direct telling you, hey. We have another season path. We announced like five more characters. Like, whoa! That'd be freaking dope. Because I know there's a new Pokemon coming. God knows how many games are gonna be coming on the Switch. I personally think we don't need a new. Um, I don't need Tom Nook. As a playable character. Uh, I'm munching, I'm sorry. I just have a feeling that the new starter is gonna be based on like a sport. I forgot the name, but I'm pretty sure the bunny is going to be based on soccer. I have a feeling that the little monkey is going to be like a baseball player. And I feel like the water Pokemon is going to be like a water based game, which I'm not sure yet. But I mean, nobody knows yet. I just didn't come up with any like ideas. But it's a Pokemon that would be really cool to see in Smash's Mega Swamp Perv without also Rig, Zerora, and these two guys. These two guys could be cool, but they already had it like a character from the. Uh, they already had it like in Center War, so I don't see them adding another Pokemon from Alola region. Want more regional forms than Mega, but still, there's a chance. Uh -huh. 
Or maybe they will come out with another like completely different stuff. You know, the Mega Evolution were cool, but like since they are not like uh, they don't stay that form, they feel a bit pointless, kind of. I don't know. That was cool at first, but then I, I stopped using them because it's like annoying to watch the animation of them transforming all the time. I wish they would stay mega, like... You put the storm on them and they stay mega all this time. Until you remove the form, the, the, the stone, instead of just watching the animation all the time. But that's only me, because like... I play without animation, fighting animations, when I play Pokemon. Simply because you gotta see the same move over and over and over. I do... I hope that you will carry your box <laughs> when you capture Pokemon and you just like... I'm pretty sure like the next Pokemon is going to be a lot like... Uh, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Mechanical wise, not like the capture system. Though that'd be cool if you have the option of either capturing it like pressing A and that's it. Like the original game, or they are like, hey, you know what, you want to play with that Pokeball that you got from Pokemon Let's Go? Yes, we'll allow you, you know. Because if not, it's a fucking waste of time. I mean, waste of money to just have this Pokeball that was just for that game. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, fucking man. Mm. Man, I'm so mad. Yeah, I'm not for skipping a long animation and keeping it short. Also, fun fact, no Gen 2 or Gen 5 Pokemon are represented in Smash. Only in Pokeball, uh, only in Pokeball uh, summoning, but it's quite boring, to be honest. I play with no items and everything, that I was like, oh, Shovel Knight is in Smash, and then I checked, it was an FB, a trophy, trophy assist, and I'm like, no! <laughs> What sucks about like uh, Shovel Knight not being a playable character is that the bosses from Shovel Knight will have been a perfect trophy assist uh, simply because uh, since they are bust they have like pattern. I was really seeing a Spectre Knight to be an assist trophy because Spectre Knight has like these sites that he launches all over the screen. So that would have been like, oh, that's his trophy, cool, you know? But no, it's just Shovel Knight is there, I guess. That, that made me kind of sad, but at the same time, it made me happy to see that an indie game is having like a place in Smash. This project started like on Kickstarter and people were really into it. I mean, they made amiibos of it, so it's cool. I'm pretty sure... <clears throat> I'm pretty sure, like, the people behind it, I think it's called Yaf... Yaf Gaming or something? The company behind it? We're not expecting this much praise for this game. And I think it's awesome. Because, and they are not, if the game is popular, 
It will get the praise it deserves. I didn't color the the six thing. Well, we're already done with that album. Are these short album? Been only streaming for like an hour, and there's two album gone. Uh, I kind of want to st stay with the chill, but at the same time, I wanted a, a little movement. I'll put dance with the dead. Oh man, it sucks! Come on! I don't know if it's gonna catch it properly. I'm gonna take the camera and show you the temperature outside, okay? I don't know if, like, if you'll see it. Oh shit, okay. Uh, wires everywhere. Alright. Can you see this? Let me see real quick. Can you see this? It's April! Stop with the snow! It's a cloudy day, but you don't see like the insane amount of snow that is falling from the sky. You think it's cloud, but it's actually just snow. I don't know if it's better. There's a car. It's just like freaking snow. Ah, god damn it. Why? No! No! <laughs> okay. Back to Tanuki and probably my crutch. All right, Tanuki, please, and take turn this. Whoop! Yeah, there you go. I wish it's snow down there. No, you don't wish. No. All right. I'll take a small pee break. I'll stretch a bit. In the meantime, you can decide uh, which figurine you want me to put in front of the camera when I get back. I'll be back in like two minutes, one minute or so. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna drink some tea. So, what figurine you want me to put? I have. I don't really have any fighting-related 
figurine except for amiibos. Well, come back, thank you, RPG. Oh, I want to give Ridley, Ridley a little more praise. I love Ridley a lot. Piranha Plant? No, not PP. Cuckoo Ridley. How do you do today, Ridley? The other way around. There you go, Peekaboo. We put my camera a bit further. He's like, talk to my hand. He looks like he's taking a selfie. <laughs> All right, I love Ridley a lot. I like that my friends do play with it. And when they are charging an attack while I'm playing Ridley, I'm just like down B, so it made like the, the tail thingy, like a critical on them. And they're like, what the fuck? I'm like, well, you gave me this big window of opportunity. Of course I'm gonna use it against you. What is Smash? Without using all these awesome features. remember before the 2.0 I was able to just grab uh, with side B bring into the side and launch them like on Bridge of Elden and just like launch them and me get back on the the screen you know just to piss off people how does it feel living in a country with two official languages well I speak French and English and that's about it there's always like one side that thinks it's better than the other. Um, the thing with Canada is like the English side that wants to believe that the French Canadian created most of the things that make Canada Canadian, kind of. I don't know how to say it properly. Uh, like maple syrup come from here, Alfie was created in Montreal and Quebec, you know, all this stuff. And yeah, but in the, in the same way, uh, if you are English, it's super hard to get like services in English when it's time to do the government stuff because they're like, if you don't speak French, there's no services. And I'm like, this is extremely stupid. Because we are a bilingual country, you shouldn't just be saying other people to fuck up, right? So like, it's really mixed. Personally, I just want people to live in peace. That I, That's only, at least that, right? There's a lot of rejection, like... I know there was like a lot of war between the French and the English like in the 60s, 04s and stuff like that. So this is why like uh, French Canadian wants to be very like um, pro-French, kind of. They really want to preserve it. It's like uh, there were laws before that if uh, an English song is popular, it needs to be translated in French and we played it in French in our country, in Quebec, for the people to love it. Otherwise, we couldn't play the song. That that's how it went back then, right? So today it's like, well, look what it gave us. Céline Dion, like, is from here. It's from a Quebec city, from like Quebec countries. 
Well, the Quebec part of Canada, I should say. But she sings in English and it's like... Well... You don't have to. The thing is... They always complain. The government can always complain about people that live in the city. But... There's way more people living in rural section. Which... English is not an issue there because nobody can talk to it. Nobody talks it. The reason why you learn a new language is because you want to use it on your daily life. Well, this is at least what I'm thinking. I talk with Mr. Bear every day and I live in a city and half the time I speak more English than French. Because it's a tourist area. I'm totally fine with it. The other thing, I don't want to move to rural area. No, rural areas are really boring. I grew up in a rural section like this, and when you don't have a car and you want to see friends, and it's like you ask your parents, and even if they live in the same city as you, well, I mean, village or whatsoever, it still takes a while before you get there. It was very depressing for me. I really wanted to move to cities. <clears throat> My mom is like, oh, you should come back and live closer to us. And I'm like, there's no way I'm going back into those kind of cities. Not cities, I mean countries. I mean, rural part of Quebec. I love this city. I like talking with people. I like uh, open. I am. But I said that to uh, one of my friends the other day. Like, I may be working at home, but I don't feel like I'm a. I don't feel like a, an introvert. I feel more of an extrovert, if you ask me. Like, I feel more energized when I can talk, where people are with me on stream. I feel like it's having better energy, in my opinion. No, because you can work alone and you can still be an introvert, right? An extrovert, I mean. But I got a head up. Getting real late over here. <laughs> it was a very nice stream and the art looks fantastic so far. Hope to see you next time. Thank you, Bismarck, for uh, joining for a while. I hope you have a great sleep. Thank you for joining. If you want to see the rest of the stream, it's going to be posted on YouTube. I mean, I wouldn't mind to have like a flat and a dacha in a rural area, move between the two, but that's unrealistic. <laughs> a lot of stuff unrealistic, really. I want to put a poster on the back. What kind of game? You know what? We are talking about Smash. Let's talk about Smash. What if I... Oh! Oh, that's perfect! The 64 Smash. Oh, yes, please! That sounds cool. Let's see here. Oh, that's perfect. I fucking love the 64 era. I talked about it on RPG streams, saying that the 64 era was probably my favorite era of gaming because they were discovering new ways to make games and they get such classics. But we'll never know like this kind of era. Like today, everybody knows what's up with games. That makes me a bit like sad because like back then there was no formula for it. You were just doing a game. You were just hoping for the best. See how it goes. But now it like feels like every game, every genre kind of games have been created. That triple A gaming is basically a formula now. So we had like this threshold of like it's new, but it's the same thing we saw before kind of deal. Back then, like, it was so new and cool, and ouch, what the fuck? 
I hate when that happens. Like a bit of like nail that just chip. Uh, where is my nail clipper? I have one around here all the time. Where is it? Shit. Because it really hurt like a bitch. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Where is it? There. Got it. I really fucking got me off guard. It's like this dry skins around the, the nails, whatever. I don't know what you call. I just know it's hurt and I don't want to. Mm, whatever, alone. Are you eating enough fruit? Yeah, you eat enough fruit, good up here. I will hate it if you tell me, no, I don't eat fruit. I don't like you that intro, goodbye. I'll be like, oh, PG. That's something I'm trying to do more often, eat more fruit and vegetables. But vegetables I'm good with. It's really like instead of having like a granola bar of a snack, it's better if I have a fruit. I really want to see them live. One day, probably. I've seen like a video of Dance with the Dead playing live, and I was like, holy Jesus. Those guys wants to give him a show for real. I never seen like, I went to metal shows and they were a bagging less than those guys did. But that, the thing is like I love ND electronic bands so much. But there's not really a perfect place for them to come and play here. So they go into festivals, they get invited into festivals. And the festivals are really expensive. And it's like they don't allow you to just like bring your own food or something inside. And it's like if you just want to see one band in the day, you need to pay for the entire day to be there. It's like super annoying. And I don't know why Morel keeps doing that. Like you should have a pass for like, well, I mean, no, it's a still it's a stupid idea. I was about to say you should have a pass for like only that show, but like in the same time, it's like once you're in, there's nobody that's gonna follow you and be like, ah, oh, time's up. one of my electronic artists, my favorite electronic artist is called Savant. I put some on my stream already, he's a very talented guy. And I want to go see him. <laughs> Every time he plays is like in raves and stuff and raves are like hard to like you don't need, if you don't have plans during the week it's easier to go to rave. Because they always like organize it last minute to make sure like What about Xai and Sakizio? I don't know them. Hey you draw your back. Back to pestering me again. Not rave though, no? I saved. Eating one of my lungs.
to a texting. Handy the fuck was. He's a cutie. There's too many cuties. I have to draw sometime. I'm just like, oh, it's too, too cute. Now that I look back, with all the closing and everything, it doesn't even look like it's bending over. You know, like. I'm almost done with that picture. After that, I'm gonna draw a little ensign or how does that sound? Is that something you want to see? Like a quick inking of an ensign or of the ensign I have created for my comics. This drawing is not. Should I separate it in the different uh, video? No, I'll make it this one. I, I hate posting videos, to be honest. I post when I feel like it, and when I feel like it, I'm like, uh, maybe I should post a video. <laughs> Look at that beautiful babe. Just playing in a corner of this room. Boop. Watermelon. Great drawing, thank you, RPG. Guess what? What? I'm gonna save. Chicken butt. <sighs> Dead hand has left the chat. <laughs> I'm drinking like the the French toast tea. <clears throat> yes, I just did. Thank you. Fuck you. I mean, I, I, it's so fine. I love Europe. Alright, let's do a little incinerator, dude. Let's bring back this here do 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 I always write Encenero instead of Encenero like I always write like I N C E N E I R O A R instead of like C I N or whatever more direct, yes, more direct. I just want to do a quick stuff since like I've been streaming for like less than two hours. Less than two worth, worth your time. You just do a black and white sketches. I'll save already. Uh, ink. There. Uh, what do I want to do with it?
this other is go I don't really practice perspective that's much anymore but I actually need to take another pee break because drinking tea and eating watermelons means that's a lot of liquid feels like I just went it feels like I just went Try to take a piss. Get a few. I like my incentive to be like cocky, you know, like I'm strong and then it's like proved wrong and is super mad about it. I feel like it's the perfect personality for incentive. He's a dark type. Dark type needs to be like silly and stupid. He's a hot headed wrestler, he is. How did I draw him? Like, I'll go back into my my Twitter and see how I did it. In here. Okay, I do follow. Okay. I assume Derek tries to mess with people outside of his word class. Well, yes, he does actually. I have like plans for it. I don't want to do it now because I feel like it's too early. But I definitely have a comic to do with him eventually. Again, just to conclude that epic adventure of him and Dragonite Pat. Even though like it's more like how about Derek than Dragonite Pat because Dragonite Pat just doesn't care for the praise or like having to deal with that for him it's kinda annoying. You may be a dark tower, but you'd be afraid as a printed if he's resorted to cheating. No, he's not a cheater, he's just like... He has to prove people wrong. You know, like... Anyway, like, I don't know. It's not really like... Something I wanna show in my comic. Because my comics are mostly about silly scenarios or something like kinda cute. Even though I have like some super dark ideas that I could just put on a comic and be like, yeah, that's it. I would touch the Pokemon characters, are too pure. 
<clears throat> but I do have like some very creepy and disgusting stuff in my head and I'm like you know what I want to do that as a comic and then I'm like yeah you know what maybe not <laughs> I guess only if I'm asked, but in the same time, why would I be asked to draw like stuff? Dark, creepy. Well, I, I do get some creepy comments, but it's not the same creepy. Hey, I'm a dark tower and I'm pretty cheaty. Okay. What do you want me to say about it? <laughs> you cheater. Ugh. RPG is not a cheater, he's a cheetah. <laughs> what do you joke? My head canon is that Derek secretly wants to be heavy white wrestler. He can't lift heavier Pokemon because he ate being lift. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah, for sure you don't get it. Like, I'm so intelligent I can understand and it feels like Rick and Morty. I'm not too sure if like a Mega and Center or something good. Thank you. This song is called Just a Dream, I think. Got to go, Castle Carding. Okay, thank you. Only a dream. Thank you for joining, Idra. Have a good one. But I think with like my character is like a lot of people wants to give them like a backstories and they're like is that what happened and I'm like I don't know <laughs> I'll say many times that when I do comics is really just like what I have in mind and I'm like yeah sure I'll do it and I do it it's not really like everything is planned and I have everything 
ready for my characters and stuff. I don't work like that. Like, first of all, there are Pokemon characters, so like, I don't want to expand that too much. Simply just in case that something happened and I'm not allowed to draw them anymore. What will happen, right? All this story that I created for the Pokemon world and blah blah blah. I'll disappear one go. So I don't want to push it too hard. Like for now, we're having fun. Let's do it. It's really just for the fun of doing all this character. Hydra Gator, maybe? No, it's Hard Gold Hydra for Pokemon Hard Gold. I think... I think I get to keep the story simple, so we can fussy and focus on drawing. Yeah, it's just... It's more for the sake of it. it it's really just like because I like to draw those characters when I'm doing it. I gotta go work out listening to your stream. Okay. Enjoy your workout, man. I'll be there. I'm drawing you and Cineroid Derek as you are working out. I'll go take my pee break in a sec. The thing is, like, I like to draw every kind of build on characters. Heavy. Tiny, etc. Even female character. Like, <clears throat> it's kind of suck when like you spend your time drawing like your characters that aren't like heavy builder whatsoever, and you just get less like. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I guess it was less pleasing for the eyes. <laughs> <clears throat> to be honest, I don't really care anymore. Well, I just said it, I hate it. I guess I cared. Shit! No points taken. Abort! Run! When I look up in the sky, I'm basically like doing the puzzles I'm doing it, I'm just trying to understand it. Okay, good. Now I have a better understanding. You probably saw my hand like flying up high in the sky. I mean, the goal is to give an approximate on how it looks like based on your own hands. Yes, I do the pause like when I'm drawing. He's drawing like the perfect perspective on the character, super hard. And even then, you know, it just looked like the finger is like this instead of being up because if I have to turn my hand like this uh, worked a bit better That's 
good enough, I guess. like bicycle kind of shirts would work better all right I'll go take my pee break then I'll ink that boy oh my god I made it hello bearing the cleric how's it go go I'll be back I really need to pee Wait, what? I heard that. God damn. Oh, yeah. I'll check out. RPGs. <laughs> and then said, Roar with the donation. Thanks again, RPG. And then Barry the Cleric with $10 says, Happy Tuesday. Thank you very much, Barry. I'll show you how much snow I have for freaking April. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. You think it's cloud, but no, it's just snow falling from the sky. The cars are covered. Kids are being killed for food. It's cold. I'm just kidding. And my crutch tickle, I suppose. No, no, you didn't donate again. It's like the 20 bucks you sent earlier. I just didn't read, read your message on my dashboard.
You know what? Let's have like a little. Uh, Hey, you did roar. You silly. I need to find uh, Agron. I have difficulty remembering his face properly. Yeah, okay. The top is. One, two, three, five. Okay. Hard to draw from the front view. Jeez. Today, the uh, fucking depressed as fuck, bro. Not just kidding. Uh, doing pretty fine. Like I said, lately I have no reason to complain. Like I see my friends, I'm pretty well. Um, like every time I see people, it's only for good news. So like I'm super happy about it. My stream and commission flow seems to be doing okay. So like I have really nothing to complain about and I'm very happy. Oh, that's right, you are open for commission. I am. I'm happy that you're happy. Thank you. You know, except for the dog bomb thing, uh, the rest is pretty fine. Like, I talked about it earlier, saying that it takes a lot of courage to do what dog bomb decided to do. And you have to respect that. I'm gonna put like the donation stream, the donation link if you want to support this cause. ASL, I believe, and I thought uh, I donated like 20 bucks yesterday. LSA, exactly. LSAA.com.org. God damn it. I got to hear that you've been doing good as well. I'm gonna send you my commission request via Twitter. Does that work? Sure. You can even do it on Discord if you want. I'm okay with it. You know, it will be easier on Discord actually, Barrick, if you don't mind. You can't even wait tonight.
and on this card. Thank you. That's a bit sad because a lot of space is wasted by just like I'm thinking of just like bringing it closer like this and actually just do what I do with other comics. One line. You have to be sure when you use it. Uh, there you go. Even like one more. There you go. Should we do like a kind of like... Like on the tip of his finger or something. I don't even know how to approach it properly. So I guess I won't. The spark effect, yeah. I guess like it has to go like this. And like... This. You know, kind of. I'll see how I feel after I'm done inking this. Oh, jeez. I'm seeing picture of Agron and he's thick. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about the TICC. Thick. Thick. Okay, I said it. You can take your time with on this one. Okay, fine. I'll get back to you after the stream. Or oh, are you at work right now, actually? I think about it. Thanks! Okay, I found out about this art the hard way. Yeah, why would I tell you what I'm streaming? It will be no secret. I got a secret. Secret, secret. I got a secret. Doo 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 doo. So when I'm at lunch, I can put in my headphones and watch. Yeah, you're watching when you're at work, I guess. Well, I did ask you if you were at work right now. Never thought to that question. The 
this is the last song of the album. I didn't answer, but you don't you don't look far enough in the chat. Oh, I'm on lunch, but I can have a Discord open when I'm working on the Okay, cool. Okay, fine, I guess. Yeah, I save. It's camp. Yeah, yesterday, like, a silly McGee was like even cloudier and more like. Now, right now, everything is white outside because of the snow and the reflection, the light reflection. <clears throat> but yesterday, it was like rainy, almost like super dark outside. Like, I needed to, like, keep some light on to be able to see where I was going in my apartment. This is how dark it was. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's just listen to some like horror music. I'm pretty sure that would be that would be like pretty good. And then you know what? It got me scared. So yeah, that's that's the end of the story. There's still snow outside? Yes, there is still snow outside. And like it's snowing so hard right now jeez and it never stopped I think I'll put my camera on my windowsill instead if I can reach it no I can't I think it will be stupid if I do that how do you guys feel about looking at my window is it interesting? Yeah, there you go. You have to see the snow falling now. I'm pretty sure my camera is gonna fall. I'll be careful. <laughs> I 
I'm glad that I have a camera that I'm not using on my face. Simply because it's not in sync with my mic and it's super annoying. And I think I was able to do it the other time. But after, like, you know, it's the kind of camera that, like, as soon as, like, it's loading something on the internet, the camera will just lag a bit, and then, ah, oh, it's on F sync now, and it's like, eh. So at least I'm showing stuff, it's gonna be, like, it's better, in my opinion. See, that's why we have so many bumblebee here. This music is nice too. Yeah, I wish I could just like... My snip was working, but it doesn't. If you like D&D and you need some ambience music for it, go check Highlanders from the artist called Alexander Venter, which is basically Savant. But since this guy likes to create a shit ton of different music, he decided to just go with his name instead. Simply because it's not really the thing he has to do. Have you ever played DD? I never played DD. My friend always played DD. And they said, like, since he did some improv, he'd be actually amazing at it. But actually, would like D and D like cost me so much already, and I'm not even playing it. In the sense that my friends are are were so into it for a while that I had difficulty to make plans with them because all the weekends were actually used to go play D and D with different people. I was like, come on. <laughs> so I kind of have like a hatred for D and D that will never leave, simply because of that. I want to be like a freaking bard, a minotaur bard, with like a healing vomit ability, like I have to vomit on you to heal you, I think that'd be great. Hey Lex! Hello, welcome. How's it going? If you want RPG, I'll link you the album later. It sounds poofy, but it's also available on YouTube, so... I've never played D&D &D <laughs> D before the closest I've ever done and roleplay was a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon roleplay. Oh, that actually sounds actually interesting and actually. Sorry, I just wanted to add actually, actually. Because why not? Am I right? Yeah, you wrote the story and like you're like, oh, you enter the dungeon. But wait, there's a legendary there. What do you do? Befriend him. Roll the D's, the dice. It's like, ah, he attacks. What's your option? Run! Watermelon, bro. You're a tired boy. Everybody's allowed to be tired. You know what? There was a point in my life when people were asking me, How are you doing? I was just replying, I'm existing. Like, just saying that basically I, I'm not feeling good, but I have to be here kind of deal. That was like the dark times. It's still morning for you. For me, it's noon 35 right now.
the dark times. The other dark times. Like, this is where like I really needed to just do what I had to do to survive. That was like very a bad time for me. I don't want to go back into those kind of years where I didn't know where I was really. And I have like a shitty job at like a fast food restaurant and then... <sighs> Every day. Every day there was problems and it's like, okay, gotta wake up, gotta go to my shitty restaurant and see what kind of problem I can resolve today. It's like it's not really my employee the problem, it was really just the clients who are always trying to scam you and you're like, you're like, okay. That's the worst thing you can do in a restaurant, offering free shit or points like a member card or something. This is the worst thing you can do to your employees or pay like a minimum wage simply because people will always argue, but I had my card, it was full. It's like, I don't have the proof, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. I fucking hate people like... <laughs> You know, it's so disrespectful for the people that are working minimum wage. I really hate that. So speaking of uh, minimum wage, have you ever been into a McDonald that was actually clean? I've never been in a McDonald where I could tell, yeah, this is clean. Like, feels like they don't exist here. It's disgusting in Montreal, or like, people are just letting their letters, like, everywhere. They're littering inside the McDonald. Oh, it's not my job, so like, man, I've seen the most disgusting McDonald I ever seen. Uh, last Friday. Last Saturday, sorry. That was gross. People were just like not picking up their food waste or whatsoever, and they just like left leave there on the floor and that was just gross I can't believe it I was pissed for the people that work there And I tell Mr. I wasn't really like liking the place because I feel gross. They're not clean in Mario, they get shut the fuck down. Oh, okay, man, you know what? They should do that here because it's super fucking gross every time you enter a McDonald. Daytime? Not as much. But you can look at the floor and tell it hasn't been clean in a while. Like the garbage cans are always filled. It's like, why? Can you not hire enough people to actually clean this place? However, it's been in the really nice part of town. You're lucky. I mean, I went to a McDonald's that was filthy the other day. I never want to go back there. I only went because my nephew loves going there. Oh, that's nice. At least you're bringing there, but at the same time, the celebrities, man. Celebrities. I have actually been in a clean McDonald's. Some of those ones in the US are remodeling, look like a cafe. Yeah, they've been doing that here for years. Because we as French Canadians and decided to go in like in a kind of a transit of like, it's not fast food anymore, it's an, a coffee experience. But let's be honest here, if you go to a McDonald's, it's really not for the coffees, okay? It's because you're drunk and you need some fat inside your body.
Oh yeah, you know, I have to say yesterday I had a DM from a dude telling me that since I love commissioning ex Tyrannaman, you should consider commissioning me. Uh, first of all, that takes some balls to do that. Using the name of somebody else to sell your product. It's very wrong, okay? It's like if I go on RPG streams and be like, you don't want to watch RPG, you want to watch me. Come to my stream. That'd be bad, right? Please, don't ever, ever, ever use the name of another artist slash creator to sell your content. No one will care about you, first of all, and you will get hated for it. You have nothing to gain. You really have nothing to gain. So please don't do it for your sake and the respect of the other creators. It's a very bad idea. I never like fast food anyway. I stick to eating as healthy as I can except pizza. I refuse to give up pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Meat and veggie topping thumbs up. I actually like a vegetarian pizza once in a while. What the hell is that bragging? Trying to get that free promo by name dropping is a no-no. Yeah, exactly. Don't do it. Just don't. That's so bad. I would hate it if like somebody will just be... Hey, you like that, Ancho. Maybe you will like me. You know, like... It's like... Don't. <laughs> Oh, I think you saw somebody walk by. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And making Agron face from the front view is quite challenging. I'm not gonna lie. Cleaning snow off cars better than most of people here. Yeah, you have to clean. I think it's like illegal to not to drive without your uh, cleaning your snow completely from the car. Uh, simply because there might be pieces of uh, ice that may be created from the top of the car. And when you go in the highway, they might flew off and actually hit a car so hard that might create accidents. I've seen that happen. Snow like floating from the cars the car because of the wind and just like block your sight it's actually quite dangerous you have to clean like the snow off your car for the sake of other people because of course you don't care about yourself right it's your car but for fuck's sake like the thing with cars is like that made people so lazy and like but in the same time, it's like so many people just drive irresponsibly. But like driving is a privilege. It's not a law, like it's not on the law. Like I never drive. Uh, I don't have my license, but also it's so expensive to drive. Technically illegal, but here, but it's rarely enforced. Hmm. Martin Milan. The good, good uh, snack. Eat vegetables, bro. I've never seen more responsible driving lately. 
I'm actually terrified of driving, so I don't drive long. I feel you are, Peter. I'm actually not a fan of cars. Everything that has a motor, <clears throat> I'm actually kind of afraid of, because... Well, I'm afraid to break it. Or I'm afraid I'll do something and that will be damaging for me and other people. So even if Mr. Bear is like, I'll teach you how to drive, I'm super terrified. Also with my, my glasses, uh, when, I, when Mr. Bear drives me at night, I don't see in front of me properly. All I see is blurs. I really need new glasses. And it's not good. Like I wouldn't learn how to drive if my eyesight was that bad. And also like the branch of your glasses on the side create you like a kind of a uh, how do you call that a dead side not a dead side uh, dead angle it creates you a dead angle yeah I'm exaggerating a bit but I know it I, I, whatever you don't care that's fine with me It's hard to exist here without a car. Everything is so far away. Yeah, I live in this city, so. I heard uh, that all I see is birds. All I see is birds. I have like these glasses that allow me to just see birds everywhere. I love you, Dad. Thank you, Lax. You poor thing. What happened? I've ever worked a job less than 10... Sorry. 10 miles from home and no public transportation to make up for it. Yeah, where I used to live, my mom was like telling me... There's like a taxi bus you can take. And I'm like, I don't trust them. Uh, like I'm not just gonna find a job and be dependent of like a taxi bus that might or may not appear and stuff like that I'm like is that really a service I can get around where I used to live you know what apparently yes but nobody used it so I guess like it would have been very like untrustworthy but they say oh yeah like you tell me then the schedule you work and I will come pick you up every time and it costs you like two dollars or something for transportation. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like a hag run. Shit, I go. I see Agron. I can tell that's Agron. Okay, good. I take out the inking. Because now I'm debating if I want to put his all body black or not. But I think if I do so, it won't be 
looking good because we'll lose a lot of details like if i do this and 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 this but where is agro now I leave it like 75% gray. Do you think I'll use like 70% gray on everything? Am I wrong saying that he looks a legal buffer now? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. But probably the perspective, like you said. He's not as buff as like other Pokemon I've drew for sure. Dig it, 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 do. Twiddly, dilly, 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 do. Bam, bam, and fuck, bam, bam. He's a lean tiger. Well, if you look like as his Pokemon profile, but you look like his body type, you're like, yeah, it doesn't look like. It's tiny. I did leg day. <laughs> I didn't skip leg day for there for sure. RPG is a good boy. He did leg day. If you skip leg day, you're not a good boy. Just kidding, I don't know. It's crazy how much it was a meme for a long time. Just like because being a douche bag looking was like the new thing. You have like bigger arms and everything and then you look at their leg and it's like, oh! <laughs> no training at all, so you have like tiny ass legs. Freaking giant buff upper body. Like, come on. That's just silly of people.
There was even like a show that make fun of it that says like all you need to train is like arm chest, arm chest, arm chest. Then the day tomorrow it's gonna be arm chest, arm chest, arm chest. The day after is going to be arm chest, arm chest, back, arm chest, arm chest. He's like, what about the legs? Like legs? <laughs> and it just zooms out that he has like tiny legs. You know. <laughs> That's French Canadian humor for you. Perspective. It's so unrealistic. If you don't have leg muscle, then your legs can't hold up your huge upper body. Yeah, I know. You need to do a couple squats, yo. Whoa! Wrong day here. Maybe not. My lunch break is over, I gotta get going to join the great day, have a great day. Thank you, Barry, for joining. I'm actually about to end this stream soon. Just gonna make a speech bubble saying like... Like, both of them are roommates, but Incineroar is actually a bad roommate, you know, like... But it's always, like, Nolan that does everything. Kind of. Like, basically, without Nolan, Derek would survive in that apartment by himself. Just be drawing, like, no cups. And Nolan is just, like... Come on, man, help me out. You know, but like, it at the point where it's like almost like his dad. <laughs> Maybe finish this incredible watermelon. Thank you, RBG. I find that there's too many perfect characters. What I mean by that is like, you look at a character from a somebody, an OC, and it's like, oh yeah, man, he, he's that, and also he's that, and like, he's so cool because he's my character, right? And it's like, yeah, sure. But. To be original, you need to go like further than that. Saying that your character is a shitty character is like, oh, it's new. <laughs> kind of, you know.
just want to give like uh, just a little background. Hey! Thought I sold my sweet baby boy. Look, I love Agron. Agron is probably one of my favorite Pokemon. I can't believe it takes me so much time before I actually decided to create a character. I know I created one randomly on stream. RPG was there and I think he named it Nolan. Well, the stream decided it's gonna be called Nolan. I don't remember and I was like, alright. Well, deal with it. You didn't name my ground, okay. You went in my DMs and asked me what his name. I said Nolan, and you were okay. Oh, Laxmish Toast. You know what? I'm sorry. I think I gave too much praise to RPG right now. Thank you, Laxmish. <laughs> thank you everybody all right i'll sign this and i guess i'll be off i'll go relax a bit to show my clients his picture see if he likes it or not i also think like if you don't like a picture or you want something to be changed don't be afraid to tell them the artist it's like a few points before i go it's like it's my job to make sure that the picture you ask is, is to your liking so like if you're like if it's not too much trouble can you like make the arm go buffer buffer i'll be of course i'll do it you know, it's part of my job uh, anyway what did i say if it's sketchy don't waste your money on those people but that's about it for me hope you enjoy the snow i know you mostly just saw my curtain like it didn't stop Jesus to be honest I didn't really uh, verify what happened outside so I guess you've seen some people walk and I didn't saw them that's so funny for me <laughs> so I'm gonna be posting this picture right about now uh, I'm gonna post the video later thank you all for joining I don't think there's anybody on right now that I can raid or something so I'll just call it a quit Everybody enjoy the time. Thank you for joining. Have a good one. Bye-bye.